everybody and welcome back to my channel and for another YouTube video. If you haven't done so already, please do make sure to hit the subscribe button as well as hit that little bell button next to it, which lets you know when new videos have been uploaded to my channel. So before anybody says anything, um, today I, well, let's start from the beginning. I've got the week off work um, basically to catch up on a few things that I needed to do. Um, I've just been to the gym. I've done my house cleaning. I've literally jumped in the shower, blow dried my hair, which is why it looks like this. I've got no makeup on apart from the usual cleanse tone, moisturize, a little bit of lip balm. And I'm trying to drink as much water as I can at the moment because I feel really dehydrated. Um, I've been out a lot lately, so I think that might have sort of a lot to do with it to be honest with you but that's where we're at today um so yeah just just in case anyone's wondering like what is going on there that's what's happened today so let's get into um the items that i've recently purchased from zara um i've been purchasing a few bits here and there for the last two or three weeks uh a few bits i have worn and i've washed them so i can let you know how they wore how they washed um, and whether they're worth the purchase or not. And then I recently did another shop yesterday and picked up a few more bits. Um, so they are basically brand new, still got the price tags on and everything else. Um, but yeah, I, I thought it'd be a good idea to kind of do the two together. At least then you can kind of see uh, what is in the stores at the moment, given it that it's gone into the autumn winter collection, which hands up is my most favorite time of year. I love all the autumn colors, the oranges and the blacks and the grays and all that kind of thing. Um, there's some really nice pieces in, in Zara at the moment. I suppose it depends on where you are in the world. Um, and it probably sounds a bit weird coming from me, given that I live in Singapore and I'm kind of like, yeah, I love autumn winter. I really, really do. It just reminds me of being back at home. But yeah, I, I think it's a, a good idea to kind of do the two videos together so you can actually see, you know, what I've purchased for this season. So I nipped into Ion Orchard yesterday and obviously into the Zara outlet there and picked up a few bits. So the first thing that I actually picked up was something that I haven't purchased from Zara before, which is a pair of baggy jeans. Um, really love the, the, the wash of the denim. The denim's actually really lightweight for Singapore as well, um, or obviously anywhere else in the world, but I just thought the denim was quite nice and, and um, not thin but it's a little bit lighter than my Levi's or my Calvin Klein so it just yeah I think it's going to be one of those materials that's going to be easier to wear here in Singapore with the humidity and the heat um, I did pick these up in a UK 12 um, and they're part of the join life um, sort of like collection that they have and these were 59.90 um, I will try these on for you just so that you can see but um, they are quite baggy and they had this paired with uh, an oversized shirt with the um, shoulder pads in, which is something else that I'll show you in a little bit. Um, but yeah, that, that's how they paired it. Um, they've kind of got like a mum uh, mom jean fit to them as well. Anyway, I'll show you, but that's one of the items that I picked up. Okay, so these are the jeans on. Um, as you can see, I've just got them with a little crop top. Again, this is from Zara, um, from Zara as well, little cardigan. Um, but what I really liked about these, and I'm sorry, I can't show you the legs, but they've got kind of like um, a, a turn up on them. Um, so with a pair of uh, either boots or I had these um, on when I was trying them on with a pair of oversized trainers but i just really liked the waistband on it i thought you know again tucking t-shirts or little crop tops they're really really cute quite um flattering around the belly area um they are quite baggy um around here which i think they're meant to be obviously they're called baggy jeans um but yeah i thought these were really really cute um can wear them with quite a few things you could wear them with heels trainers blah 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 yeah these these get two thumbs up seriously really comfortable so the next thing that i picked up was uh, an oversized uh, sweatshirt jumper whatever you want to call it um, and this is in like a velour material and I picked it up in lilac really really gorgeous material it's not fleeced on the inside which means it'll be nice and well it'll be lighter to wear it here in Singapore with again a pair of jeans or a pair of leggings I did pick this up in a size L um, large where I probably could have got into a smaller or medium but given that it's meant to be oversized I wanted it to be quite slouchy um, absolutely gorgeous love the color um, it's yeah just really really comfortable um, and something that you can wear on many occasions um, so yeah that one's uh, one of my favorites 
So just keeping up with um, the baggy jeans, the oversized jumpers, um, and I mentioned this when we were talking about the jeans, I picked up a little t-shirt that um, is sort of cropped, it's a cropped t-shirt, um, and it's got the wording extremely talented on it, which I thought was quite comical, um, but it's actually got the shoulder pads in it as well. Um, which seem to be a, a thing at the moment. My mum would absolutely love these. <laughs> um, to be honest with you, I was quite dubious about picking it up. Um, I wasn't quite sure on the shoulder pads. And to be honest with you, I might have to go and exchange this. I did pick it up in a size medium, but it fits, but it's not as oversized as I'd like it to be. So let me just try this on for you. Let me let me know what you think. Um, but I think I might have to go into a large just to have that kind of like slouchiness to it. But let's try it on and you can tell me. Okay, so this is that little t-shirt with the shoulder pads on. Um, as you can see, it fits. I'm just a bit conscious that it's not as baggy as I would expect it to be. I did see another lady today in a short sleeve version of this and she kind of had it like to one side. It was quite kind of loose and and, and, and easy going looking which is what I really want this to do. Um, so yeah, I think I might go up a size in this. However, if you wanted this and, and obviously to fit, um, then the medium is fine if you're in between a UK 10 and 12. But for me, it just doesn't do what I want it to do, which is to look oversized. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna go and take this back and get a uh, a large in it. Okay, so the next thing that I got, um, I th I'm absolutely in love with it. I think it's such a cute color and it's such a cute design, like top, it's, it's a top obviously, um, but it's just so, so cute. Um, yeah, and the color is just beautiful. Um, so I picked up this little canary yellow, um cropped jumper short sleeve jumper i fell in love with the color i just think it's beautiful and the material is so soft and and fuzzy reminds me of a little chick <laughs> um but yeah this one i i picked this up in a medium this was 45.90 which is not cheap cheap get it cheap cheap um yeah i i, I just thought that um this was something that would pair very nicely with a pair of jeans um yeah, I love the color. I think the color is so subtle and so cute. Um, let's just try and get that down a little bit. But yeah, really, really cute. Love the color, love the cut. Um, really quite, um, uh, it's quite a deep round neck, but I just think that it, it just suits the top really, really well. Really comfortable around the arms. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely love it. So I have a real thing for body suits at the moment, probably a bit like every everybody else on the planet. I, I just think they're so easy to wear um, and they're really comfortable um, and very flattering to be honest as well. Um, so I picked up this little bodysuit um, yesterday. To be honest with you, um, I didn't really think about the sizing so much. I picked it up in a medium and this was $39.90. Um, when I got home and tried this on yesterday, I can't even get the buttons done up <laughs> underneath. Um, there is no real, I mean, there is stretch to it, but not as much as some of the other bodysuits that I've got in a medium and in the smalls, to be honest with you. Um, so I'm gonna have a look to, uh, when I when I take these, um, the t-shirt back tomorrow just to see whether I can either go up a size in it if not I will have to try and find something else but love the color love the lace on it just the sizing is not fantastic for me unfortunately so the last item that I picked up yesterday is actually uh, another bodysuit um, I have these in a few different colors I love I love the material um, I think the colors are really good the very um, delicate uh, body suits I would say they don't look heavy they go with everything I've worn mine with jeans with leggings with joggers they just go with everything um, and I've actually heard a few other people reviewed these body suits and said the same thing so if you're looking for a really good decently priced bodysuit please do take a look at these um, they're fantastic they really really are so I've got mine in this kind of like neutral color um, sort of like a nude color this was, if I'm not mistaken, the 29, yeah, the 29.90. I picked mine up in a medium. Um, probably could get away with the small, but the medium just kind of give you that little bit of extra um, room if you have a bloat or anything like that. Um, but yeah, I just think they're really, really, and the material's really soft as well. They're gorgeous. So I have it in this um, nude color. I've also got it in the powder blue. 
which I've worn quite a few times with a pair of jeans. Absolutely stunning on. The color is I just, I have a thing with blue. I always have done since I was little. It was always my favorite color, but that is just absolutely stunning blue color. And then I've also got it just in the basic black. Again, worn this with jeans. Uh, I've worn this with my leggings as well. Um, so yeah, they're, they're staples to have in your wardrobe, but yeah, I love those. I think they're fantastic. Good value for money. So just moving on then to some of the items that I have purchased previously and that I've worn and I've washed. Um, I've actually really fallen in love with their contour collection, I think it's called. Um, so a lot of the tops are in this really soft um, ribbed material. It's absolutely, I, I, I can't explain it. It's like being cuddled by a big soft teddy bear. It's lovely. So. I've got a couple of tops that are similar to this. Um, so they're just sort of little polo, uh, no sleeve crop tops. Um, I've got it in the green and I've also got it in this sort of brown neutral nudie color. I don't know how else to explain it. Um, so I've got the two colors. Absolutely love them to go with a pair of joggers or with jeans or anything like that. Super duper comfortable. Um, and again, I've worn and washed these quite a few times and had no issues with them whatsoever. They dry in no time um, and they don't loop or well, they haven't lost their color yet. Um, so yeah, highly recommend them. The other thing that I purchased, actually I have the matching um, leggings to go with this as well. Uh, unfortunately, I think they're in the wash at the moment. But again, going with that sort of like khaki green color, I've got the little sort of like crop top with um, the, uh, what they call the, the straps on them. I don't know how to explain it, my mind's gone blank. Um, but I've also got the leggings in this and I've got the leggings in this material, but in black as well. Um, with the leggings, the only thing that I have noticed is that um, I was sat at a bar table the other day and a little bit of wood had actually caught in the, the rib and when I tried to obviously take the little bit of wood out, it's made a pull in the material. Now I'm not saying anything about the material itself, um, I was a bit devastated to be honest because they're so comfortable, um, but just be careful with the material um, that you know when you do get pulls on them, it, I mean it's gonna happen but that's just something to bear in mind um, that I had experienced. The other thing that I have um, is another pair of um, I would call them joggers from Zara. So I bought them in the car. I've got a thing with this khaki color at the moment. Again, autumn, winter, I know. Um, so I just picked up these little pair of joggers. Um, really soft material. They're obviously cuffed at the bottom. Um, these can be quite high-waisted or you can wear them lower. So you can wear them with t-shirts or I've worn these with my... Um, my bodysuits um, and a pair of trainers. They're really, really comfy, really sort of like mold to your body. Um, and especially here in Singapore, they're not too heavy. So if you're looking for a decent jogger, I think these were something like 39.90. They weren't overly expensive, um, but go and have a look at those as well. Now, I bought this, I may have bought this about a month ago. Um, I don't know, it's either three, it might've been about three weeks to a month depending. Um, but I'd seen a few other people with this particular dress. I absolutely fell in love with it yet again. Um, I don't know what it is with Zara. It seems to kind of come into their own with their designs and everything else, but I never ever go into Zara without picking something up. <laughs> um, but this is the dress that I picked up. Um, again, you've probably seen this on Instagram, on a few other people on YouTube. Um, it's just one of those dresses that's really quite noticeable. I love the colors in it. I thought it went really well with my skin tone um again and I, I i like the i think it's called shearing on it um it's kind of got that uh it sits really well in the places that you think it wouldn't so if you've got a little bit of a bloat or if you're a little bit self-conscious of certain areas this type of material can actually help um not i would say disguise um but I just found I'd worn this quite a few times and I feel really confident in it and I am a little bit self-conscious around my belly um, but love it. Uh, I've washed it um, just in the washing machine to be honest with you and it's still as good as new. So yeah, another item that I highly recommend. So just on top of all of that, um, I just realized I bought a pair of shoes, um, not from Zara to be honest with you. I'm just going to throw these in for good measure because I think these would work with quite a few of the outfits and the items that we've already been through. 
Um, so I picked these up in a store called, I never know if I'm saying this right, Stradivarius. Um, so their label looks like this. You'll know it when you see it. Um, but I picked up these little mules with the little kitten heel on them. Um, I've seen this style in so many high street stores. I get the feeling that this is something that's kind of come out um, in the high street stores from uh, BV, where they've done very similar um, oversized braiding on their mules because I've tried them on and loved them. Um, but yeah, I just thought these would go really well with a lot of the items that I picked up recently. Um, these were these were not cheap. Um, these were sixty nine ninety, which I thought was really expensive for a pair of high street. Um, shoes. I may be kind of wrong there. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I, I just thought they were really cute and I really like the color of them as well. Um, so yeah, that's kind of where we are. Um, had a lot of fun. A um, few items that uh, I need to take back just because one doesn't fit the way I wanted to and the other one, like I say, I couldn't even do it up around the under carriage area. Um, so yeah, so that's it. Um, that's everything for today. Um, if you are interested in any of the items that I've shown, do let me know and I'll pop the links in below. The one thing that I have noticed with Zara, um, which makes it a little bit difficult to do this, is that some of the items that they have on the website, they don't have in the stores or vice versa. Um, I had a bit of a run-in with them a couple of weeks ago. I won't go into the details. I, it got sorted, but I kicked off a little bit just because of their return policy with some of the stuff that is on the website but not in the stores blah 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 um long story short um if there's anything particular that you want the details of let me know i'll put it in the description below um i will try and find some of these on the website if i can um but also conscious that you know in different areas of the world you're going to have different stock availability um but yeah let's, let's see how we go but if there is anything then obviously let me know so thank you very much um i hope that you've enjoyed this video and i will catch you all again soon bye everybody bye